All right, so got a package from the boy or the people at uh, Barrow Brigade. Awesome. Yep. So this is the whole video is about. And if you can hear wind noise, it's because I have the fan on, and there's no way I'm turning off the fan because it's freaking hot. So I uh, only got two things. Um, Chuck got the sticker. So yeah, like I said, I only got two things. So I've got the black regular shirt, medium. By the way, I'm 5'6", 170 pounds now. I know, compared to all my other reviews, it's a lot like, I weigh a lot more because, you know, quarantine stuff or whatever. Excuse the tan line. Now I'm a size, I can fit a size small on like certain other clothes, but other clothes like for barbegade shirts or regular like cotton shirts, I need to have a medium because I'm just too big for small now, which is kind of a good thing. I'm proud of that. I also got a mask. Uh, I got a mask uh, just because you know you gotta wear one everywhere now, going in my state, and as well as a sweater. So we'll throw the shirt on, the sweater, and I guess throw the mask on first. So the mask is pretty. It's a mask. Um, it like it's not that stretchable, honestly. Not uh, actually. Not bad. Uh, obviously, it has a little bar brigade uh, thingy right here, and I like it too because that uh, kind of does it. Kinda, cause some mask, they kind of like it makes it look like this. I think it's tight enough, or it's okay. Breathing in it, it's like it's not bad. It does kind of when you inhale, the fabric does kind of go on your nose, but it is what it is. It's just the times. Okay, so. Editing this video like two weeks after I got all this stuff. Um, yes, I did finally get a haircut and everything. Um, and it, if it because the sun's coming in, I got new sunglasses or not sunglasses, new glasses, and this transition with this. Anyways, yes, I do notice that the mask is upside down. I guess for some reason I felt like the logo was supposed to be on the right side, so I put it on the right side. And so, yes, the mask is upside down. So flip it upside down, and you can breathe. Psst somewhat better uh, you can breathe better if you like angle it right uh i don't have it on me right now i have it in my car but if you angle the mask right then you can actually breathe better but and the logo is supposed to go on the left side not the right side because obviously it is upside down so yes before you comment anything it is upside down next up we have the shirt obviously it's a size medium you can tell and it fits really really nice i I'm glad I went with a size medium. Uh, it kind of goes down to like right here. So just about, about seven inches past my waist. So like I said, I'm 5'6". Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. Obviously, you know, while we're gate stuff, we can't really see. There you go. Hopefully that's good. So it's pretty nice to be here. Um, but my other past Barber Brigade shirts, they kind of like, because I got bigger, started like stretching out, so I hope this is going to be better, and obviously it has a little uh, Barbagate uh, little logo right here. And it's basically the same material as that. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, next up we have a uh, sweater. First step. Wow. It's pretty good. So I'll let everything go. <laughs> but first impressions of the sweater, it is pretty dang heavy. So, I don't know if we're going to wear this during the summertime because it is like... Heavy is going to keep you warm for sure during the, I guess, winter or cooler times or whatever. Because this is, I do not want to put this sweater on, but just for you guys, I am doing it. So, um, yeah. Oh, I'm actually kind of pretty, pretty warm. Pretty cool. Obviously, you got the Barber Brigade logo here. Uh, here's the hoodie part. It's pretty nice. It's not like it's. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's the same material as the outside. It's not like the inside where it's all the softy thingy, which I like a lot. Um, and of course, you have the Barber Brigade logo. That again, can't really see. Hope you guys are getting a good angle at it. Um, but yeah, other than that, sizing I could have maybe gone get a small. It is pretty, it goes past like the crotch area, but I guess once you wash it and everything, it'll kind of shrink up. So, uh, yeah, overall, like it. I really wanted like a black hoodie like this, and I am sweating now in this hoodie, so yeah. I really don't know what else the video is gonna be whole. I guess more driving videos, I guess. So, if you guys are just wanted to watch the review, go ahead. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, 
comment, and subscribe. And if you want to stay and watch the rest of the video, then feel free to. Okay, so, uh, kind of a Mind of Your Ex style um, video. Uh, pretty inspired by his videos, really like what he does. Shout out to him. Doesn't really need a shout out. I, think I need the freaking shout out. What the heck is that? I don't know. I was looking at the um, little screen thingy. But, got some packages here. And so, yeah, let's get it. Um, so, yep. Let's open this up. Not gonna cut anything. So, First thing uh, we have, well basically the main thing, is a foam cannon. Um, this one is by Trinova. Uh, I do want to get into foam cannons. I have, already have a power washer, so why the heck not? Um, just wanted to try it out, see how it goes. Um, this is like 40 bucks. It's like the, not the most expensive one. Watch this video about foam cannons, and so yeah, we'll open this up later. And of course we have some foam cannon by Chemical Guys. Uh, snow foam, auto wash, we're gonna need this. Next package. There's supposed to be one more package, uh, but it is kind of delayed. It is just basically the bucket. Like it's you'll be able to see another bucket or whatnot. So yeah. Okay, next up uh, we have a uh, wheel washer. I definitely needed this. I'm not by chemical guys again. Not sponsored. A wheel washer, it's kind of already open, so it's gonna see. Oh wow, it's really soft, it looks a lot uh, tougher in like uh, what do you call it in the pictures and whatnot. But this is really soft, I guess it really should be because it's your wheels. So, yeah, hint, hint. Next up, we have a uh, I really needed this, uh, I needed like the, like the grid or whatever to put in the bucket, just you know, you don't want all the dirt and stuff on your uh. Spot, or the washcloth, the one you use, I, I, my mind is just not it today, so bear with me. But yeah, just to get all the dirt off and whatnot, I think you can have the other, there's like two, but I just grabbed one, I don't know if I need the other. If I do need the other, I'll just get it. And lastly, of course, I needed another wheel cleaner, and this one's a whole lot bigger, it's by McGuire's. Um, I had another wheel cleaner by uh, Adams. Adam's polish, but then it didn't even last that long. So needed this with that. So yeah, that's what we got for the unboxing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna cut to washing the car. Not right now. Not exactly right now, because it's really, it's not. It's hot, but the car is also pretty like hot, and you don't want to wash your car and like the sun's been like beaming on it and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna cut to that in a bit. All right. So first step, we're gonna get. Uh, Get about one or two ounces of this, pour it in here. After that, get some warm water and put it in there. And yeah, so that's gonna be like about barely, like it kind of barely fills up, like right here. I don't have an exact measuring cup, so I'm just kind of gonna wing it. As long as I don't put like the whole thing, I think it'll be okay. Let's see how that is. I think I'll pour a little bit more. I think that's about good. And then, so we'll just fill this up with water and yeah. The bucket that I ordered did not come at all. I don't know what's up with the delivering company. I'm not gonna say who, but lately I've been, I haven't been getting my packages. It's like being delayed. Um, so I don't know. So we're just gonna use the regular uh, bucket. Um, I don't have the, I have the grid guard, but it just won't fit because how weird this bucket is. So yeah. Use the little, um, what do you call it? Um, the gosh, I can't think of the chain saw the edge cutter going on there, but we're gonna uh, first uh, lift off the rims and we're gonna start off with the rims or sorry, wheels, not rims, wheels. So next up, we're gonna use the all wheel cleaner by McGuire. So I'm just gonna spray this on. Oh, it's making like 
purple too. That's kind of cool. So yeah, spray this on, and then we'll use the little wool brush to uh, put it up. And yeah. Clean off the wheel and rinse this thingy off. What I do with the actual tires, I don't really wash them until like the very, very end when I'm done with all the soapy water and just kind of. I know there's more, there's a way better method on how to clean tires. Let's be honest, these are stock tires. Not really going. At, I mean, yeah, I'll just I'll do I'll just put a little tire shine on them to make them look nice, but it's not really worth it because these are these are stock. So I did want to try it out and see how this works, and it works good. So yeah, let's move on. I'll move on to the next four tires. You guys will need to see that. Um, so next clip you guys will see is me actually walking the car. So perfect time, oh my gosh, you guys are so blowing out. Um, but perfect timing, the bucket came in r like right as I was washing this up. So yeah, perfect timing. We'll put the, honestly, this is just used to take out all the dirt. So yeah, now we'll get that thing on. So again, sorry about the whole, um, my dad is like uh, trimming the bushes right now and this was like kind of the only time and it's sunny again. Like the sun, like it, your guys are probably so overexposed, is being so weird. It's like being cloudy and then it starts being sunny and then cloudy, then sunny and then cloudy. It's like, oh. So basically what I do is I kind of work my way from the top to the bottom and around the car. Uh, I know there's better methods of doing it, and I'm probably gonna get flamed in the comments section, but you know, whatever. And see, and now it changes because now it's like super dark now, and it's like perfect uh, weather to like wash your car. Also, pretty damn warm today. It's like 70 degrees right now, and I don't mind that, but it still gets pretty dang hot. And that's like hot in like Washington terms, I guess. It's like almost 80. You kind of see what part was like, got sun like beamed on it or whatnot, which is not the best, but you know, it is what it is. Gotta make do with what you got. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to rinse this cause it has like a whole bunch of dirt on it. So that's what this bucket is for. Gonna it against the grain. It's like stuck on it. And go back to it. And the sun's back. Again.
next step, what I do basically is just called the sheeting method or whatever. So just basically just get entire water and it just runs off all the water. I'm gonna actually turn this down a bit because it's a little too hard, so yeah. Oops. I guess another thing to point out is try not to get the hose too close to the paint. That would suck. All right, so next step obviously is to just dry the car. Um, again, I want to reiterate, I am not no car washing detail professional. I just kind of watch videos on YouTube and replicate what they do. So right now I'm kind of using just an absorber, but I'm not like actually like scrubbing it. Uh, I've kind of learned that kind of scratches the car. So I learned it the hard way. So I just kind of lay it on and then it kind of just absorbs everything. Not sponsored by anything, by the way. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Just get one of these, lay it where the water is, kind of let it sit there, make sure everything's flat. And then, well, most of it is dry. So yeah, that's the next step. And see, this is also why you do not want to wash your car in the sun. See all these little streaks? I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that is exactly why you don't want to wash your car in the sun. Pretty easy to take off though. I'm pretty sure I can just use some detailer and it'll come off. No biggie. Um, but yeah, that is why you don't want to wash your car in the sun because you can kind of see all the marks and that's kind of, I don't like that. My car never usually has that. I usually wash my car like this, but it was just weird weather today. And I wanted to wash the car and go, I guess I should have just waited for a really, really cloudy day. But right now it's fine. So it is what it is so yeah what i do with these i just kind of get a little quick detailer kind of spray it on there spray it on there and it kind of usually just goes away although right now the like the see the sun is just super weird right now and it doesn't that's the thing with washington weather it just does not know what weather it wants to be it could be raining it could be snowing and yeah now the car's starting to get hot it is what it is so another thing i do wipe up is obviously the engine bay i'm kind of gonna i'm gonna change the rag just because i don't want it this one to be all dirty because i also use it like between like the door sills and of course the what you call it this part so just want to be careful of that wipe all this and yeah because you don't want to you know wash the like the whole exterior of the car and then neglect the whole interior and then it ends up looking really ugly blah 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 watermarks gross and so yeah it's gonna wipe all this up and be basically done here so this might be the whole you probably cannot see me right now this might be the new like kind of driving setup like if i'm like you know driving obviously and i'm vlogging it's kind of hard to do when you're driving stick and you know unless you're like come on like six and like cruising or whatever that i can do that but if i'm like driving driving like this yeah it'd be a little difficult a tiny pool the car's still cold video please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video